Okay, today I'm back to give you guys another video. Today I will be reviewing the Sennheiser HD800S headphones. Now these, let me show you right quick. As you can see there, they retail at the moment for $1,700. But are they worth the money? Let's take a look. Okay, so let's move on to the accessories. And let me show you first, one of the accessories that was very impressive to me is this manual that comes with the headphones. And it comes in different languages, but it's uh, very nice. It's in color. It's a premium manual, I would say. And then it tells you everything that's included in the package you can see there. Now I'm gonna show you right now in detail uh, all the stuff that comes with it. So let's start with the USB cable. So it comes with a USB cable. Put that to the side. And then it comes with your uh, headphone cable. And it is a quarter inch, as you can see there. And it is a braided cable and it's very strong uh, braided cable. Very good. And then it has this uh, other side is your uh, proprietary cables for the headphones themselves. Now we also get this extension and this one is a quarter inch to 3.5 now this one you can use it on your phone or tablet or whatever if you don't have a quarter inch uh, to, to connect it with so you do need this cable it's very important we'll move that to the side now we also get a balance cable as you can see there and on the other side it is the cables you connect to the headphones so we get that as well. We get a little microfiber uh, cloth to clean the headphones. And then you also get a carrying bag. Now, we don't just get this carrying bag. I wanna show you. Now I'm gonna put it on the B-roll because right here on my table, it's pretty big. But as you can see, we get this big box where they come and it's a very nice inside. It's like a silk uh, material for the headphones. It's very nice and plush. It has a, a nice feel to it. So the foam inside feels very nice for the headphones. So that is very nice. So you get all that with the accessories. And Sennheiser, you did a good job with the accessories, and I'm gonna give you guys thumbs up. Now let's move on to the hardware. Okay, now moving on to the hardware. Now these headphones look very good. I love how they look. Um, probably one of my favorite headphones of how they look. They just look premium. But if you look closer, I do wanna show you that this is aluminum but pretty much everything else is plastic. And that's no good, especially for the price that these headphones are going. Now, as you can see up here, the band is aluminum. And I do like that. It says Sennheiser HD, made in Germany. Very cool. But this part here is plastic. And as you can see inside, it's plastic and I don't like that, especially for the price of these headphones. They should have put aluminum here, in my opinion, because headphones tend to break from there. But again, they do look very nice. Inside, there is some padding and it has like this suede material. Very nice, it, it feels good. Also, the ear cups are suede material. Um, so I do like everything. They don't get hot and they go all around your ear. So that's very good. Um, and I was very happy and I enjoyed using these headphones. The build quality is uh, 
pretty good, but I don't like this part right here. I feel if it breaks, I'm going to be very mad, especially for $1,700. So for the build quality, I'm going to give them thumbs down because of this. They're too expensive for them to uh, do this in these headphones, in my opinion. Now let's move on to the stretch test. Okay, now let's move on to the stretch test. Now I usually do this test for people that wanna buy these headphones. If you have a big head and you wanna see if these headphones are for you and you wanna see the stretch test, let's go ahead and do it. Now I already opened them up. Now I'm a little bit scared because these headphones are expensive and I hope they don't break from here. So let's go ahead and do the stretch test. One, two, and three. And as you can hear, there is no crazy sounds. The plastic seems like it survived and there doesn't seem like it's gonna break or anything. I'm still kind of scared of these headphones because I feel like they might break from there and they're very expensive, but they did pass the stretch test with no issues. So Sennheiser, you pass the stretch test. Now let's move on to the sound quality. Okay, now let's move on to the sound quality. Now some of the albums I used to test these headphones out. Now I did play some Ed Sheeran, some Joe Hisashi, some Shaggy, and some Tupac. Now let's talk about the bass. But before we start with the bass, let me show you some specifications right here, just so you guys can see and you see the impedance level is 300 ohms. Now that's a lot. So you do need an amp to power these headphones. So I used uh, one of my Feel amps to power these headphones and let me tell you, let's first talk about the bass. The bass was amazing on these headphones. I was amazed on the quality of bass that these headphones produce. It sounds really good. It sounds rich. The separation between the mids, the highs, and the bass is just on another level. It sounds impressive. I know there's a lot of people out there that might say, oh, they're too expensive, but until you hear how good these headphones out, it's just, wow, I was just impressed. The bass is not that uh, crazy uh, bass that's gonna rattle your head like the, ba the Beats headphones, but it's just a balanced bass that sounds really good and it's enjoyable and anybody that tries these headphones out i'm sure you're gonna be impressed by the bass so sennheiser thumbs up for the bass now let's move on to the mids and the highs okay moving on to the mids and the highs let's first talk about the mids again the mids just like the bass sounds amazing the vocals came in super clear, uh, male and female. These are probably some of my favorite headphones in the sound quality. They just sound that good. Um, I was impressed by the mids and like, again, the separation between uh, the bass and the mids. If you're, when I was hearing some Tupac, it just sounds really good. I was impressed. Now the highs, as well these probably these headphones are probably one of my favorite headphones of all time because they sound that good the instruments sound so clear practically perfect i would say from any headphones that i've heard ever these are probably one of my favorite headphones um joe hisashi album sounds really good with these headphones um, instruments, anything with instruments sounds so clear and there's notes that I've heard with these headphones that I have never heard with other headphones. Very good. And again, you do have to power these headphones out. Keep that in mind. You would not be able to power these up with your phone itself. You do need an amp. Keep that in mind. Now let's move on to some recommendations. 
Okay, moving on to some recommendations. Now, this is an album that I uh, was hearing while testing these headphones out. And this is a very beautiful album. And it is Dream Songs, The Essential Joe Hisashi. Check it out. You will be impressed by this album if you've never heard it. Just make sure you have some good headphones while hearing this. Now let's move on to the next album. Okay, here's a second album. Now this one's by Shaggy. It is uh, Wagwan. I believe that's how you pronounce it. And this one has 14 tracks. It's a very nice listen. You should check it out. I was actually um, in very happy to hear this album. Very enjoyable. Now let's move on to my final thoughts. Okay, now these are my final thoughts. Now in the beginning of the review, I asked you guys, are they worth the money? And it all just depends. If you're looking for something like this, if you're looking for some really good headphones and you have the money to buy something like this, then yes, definitely yes. Now I'm not gonna tell you to not pay your rent, your mortgage, or not buy a used car or something like that. So you to buy these headphones because there is cheaper alternatives. But if you can afford these headphones, I would tell you that these are a definitely buy. They sound that good. But just keep in mind that you do need an amp to power these headphones. That is an, an extra uh, spend that you will need to do if you don't have an amp already. Uh, but if you're looking for something like this, I'm sure that you already uh, have an amp probably at home because these are expensive headphones. If you don't own any headphones and you just want to buy one pair of headphones that would that sounds awesome, I would definitely recommend these headphones as well. I'm so happy with these headphones. They sound so good. The build quality is the only problem I have with these headphones and just because of this right there. If Sennheiser will make this aluminum, I would say these are almost perfect headphones, I would say. They are awesome. And at $1,700, they are steep, but you can probably look on eBay, maybe you can find them cheaper. But the accessories, everything is awesome on these headphones. And the, the main thing that I always say is the sound. And the sound is practically perfect on the, these headphones, in my opinion. They just sound that good. Now, it also depends. If you want that that bass headphones, like the the Beats uh, line, then you might not, you don't, you won't get it here. This is more of a balanced bass, but you can still feel it. And I'm so happy to have heard these headphones. They're just that good. So that was my review. Check out all my videos, subscribe, thumbs up, and I'll see you guys next time.